Hey guys, today I'm going to do a walk around of my 2008 Honda Civic SI. I'm going to go inside and out and just tell you my thoughts about it. I've had this car for about a year now. Um, I added the rain guards to eBay. It looked good, but that's about it. Um, added the red badging because you know all 8th gens have to have red badging. Uh, when I got this, they said it was an, an accident in Illinois, so it actually had no badge on the front. Um, I ironically posted pictures of it the day I got it on Facebook, and it turns out I knew the last owner. She uh, said somebody backed into her in a parking lot at Walmart, so nothing major. Um, I do have several complaints about this car, which I will go over. The dealership I got it from, they weren't bad. I only paid $79 for it. Um, they repainted the top half, but you could see where they halfway stopped on the hood. As you can tell, it does have the 8th gen paint problem, which I've seen on the 9th gens now. Uh, this is Nighthawk Pearl. I think it's more common in this color than it is and the other ones I've seen a lot of blue too uh, the trunk there's some on the doors they, it's bad um, there was a recall but it's no longer valid it's starting to rain um, there's the crow's feet looks like little Y's in the paint I do enjoy this car the 8000 red line is awesome uh, I have a 9th gen over there too I will review eventually Here's the Accord, sitting all in there, nice and dry. Let's go to the inside. I love this interior. Uh, between the 8th gen and the 9th gen, the 8th gen is my favorite, the 9th gen is my wife's. We got soft touch doors, the silver. Uh, I got the red badging on the steering wheel. For the most part, this car is completely stock. The SI seats, they're bolstered, which is very nice. Uh, thing that wins me over for this car get inside it doesn't have all the tech that the ninth gen has the ninth gen has the touch screen and the lane watch cameras I've never been a tech person I've always just been to the basics I like you open the door and the dash lights up take the key out the SI goes away it's got the two-tier dash which was always my favorite uh, CD player aux it's got cubby hole the six speed. Let's go ahead and fire it up. I do have a clicking noise coming from the uh, blower fan, which is annoying. I guess that's another common problem with these. Uh, it's clean. I take good care of it. It's got 144,000 miles. I got. All the original paperwork, even the airbag stickers, it's got the window sticker, which I was impressed. I've yet to find a car that came with the window sticker that was used. I think I'm the fourth owner. I also have the broken visor. When you pull it down, this clip comes off so it doesn't go back up. Um, sunroof is standard. There's plenty of room up here. It's real comfy. Um, the red is awesome. There's the two-tier dash. I the best I can. It's still cold. I always try to keep a full tank. It's got the electric power steering, vehicle stability control you can turn off. You can do miles or kilometers. I toy around when I'm bored on the highway. Road trips. I look at the under the hood and check out in the back. I do have two kids, so there are car seats back here. And there's plenty of room for the kiddos. Uh, these I got lucky. I have the all-weather OEM Civic floor mats. I got plastic floor mats on top of them to help keep them clean. Um, there's your cup holder for the back seat. It's got the silver on the door also back here. Get a view up front from the back. It does have the sliding armrest, which I do enjoy. One of my favorite things about this is the dual overhead cam IV tech. I always was a fanboy as a kid of that. 
I remember when these came out, I was young. Uh, I hated the SI being a four-door because I always grew up with the EM1, but here I am with one, so no complaints. Uh, the badging did fall off. The red fell off the S. I 3M taped it. Plenty of trunk space. If you need more, it's got the 40-60 split seats. You pull the little levers, the seats fall down. Can't really do it because of the car seats. It does have a little bit bigger exhaust than the EX model. Most SIs come with a chrome tip that has that little lip that it's welded to. Mine fell off. So, I no longer have the chrome. It's okay. I use it as an excuse to get an exhaust. It has a little trunk mount wing. Get under the hood. There it is. K20 V3. Completely stock. Stock airbox. Doesn't sound bad for a stock engine. Got a little bit of exhaust noise, not much. My wife complains because she says it's too quiet. She can never hear it to drive it. She has a Tsudu exhaust on hers, which we'll get to that eventually. But there it is. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop a comment. Leave a like. Thanks, guys. Bye.